going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome to Montgomery, Alabama, the site of the SCF's kickoff here between the UNA Lions and the Mercer Bears. It was a tight contest between these two as the Lions were looking for win number one under new head coach Brent Deerman. First all-time meeting between the Bears and the Lions here in the FCS kickoff. Here in the first quarter, it's Carter Peavy for Mercer. Going to find Ty James for the 14-yard touchdown connection, putting the Bears up 7 to nothing. Next possession for UNA, they go three and out, but the pun here is muffed by Devron Harper, recovered here by Sean Myers. Ensuing drive, Sam Contorto's field goal, however, is going to miss wide. Here in the second quarter, the Lions would get on the board. It's TJ Smith. Calling his own number, gets it around the right side, and three yards later is into the end zone. That ties the game up at seven. But the Bears would respond. Reese Griffin's going to hit the 24-yard field goal. Mercer leads this one 10 to seven at the half. After a weather delay here in the third quarter, it's Jalen Daniels off the jet sweep. Gets down the sideline, a big gainer there for the first down for the Lions. And Contorno going to try to tie it up here with the field goal. However, the Bears defense gets through and blocks it, and they recover this one out of bounds. On the ensuing drive inside the five-yard line, Al Wooten trying to punch it in. However, he would fumble, and the Lions would recover. But after a UNA a three and out, back come the Bears. It's Micah Bell. Going to punch it in from five yards out, and the Bears would hang on to win this one late, 17 to seven. No one in the country gave this team any bit of an opportunity, and for them to come into an environment like this and play a heck of a Mercer team, and you're talking about the 17th or 20 best team in the country, for these guys to come in here after how they've been beaten up and bruised in previous years around here, and to fight their tails off to the end of the game, and have moments. I mean, you you got two missed field goals. You got uh, a fade stop in that front corner of the end zone that, that was open. Um, that if we execute in the red zone, you're right there battling one of the best teams in FCS football. And give credit to those guys. They're a really good team. They're a really good coach team. They got a lot of really good players. But man, I'm just proud. I'm proud of our players. I'm proud of our coaches. We a lot of people didn't think we can play as hard as we played today. So I think we proved a lot of people wrong. I think we definitely got a lot of people to still prove wrong because. My opinion is that we got to earn our respect. Our respect is not given. So that's how I look at it. Lions go to 0-1 on the season, looking for win number one next week at home as their take on UT at Chattanooga. Here in Montgomery, Alabama, this is AJ Good for the X Sports Network. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.